Hello, my name is Jim Donnelly. I am a professional artist living and working in Carlo. I'm delighted to be involved in this exciting creative project from IT Carlo, funded by the Department of Equality, Diversity and Inclusion. Yes, well, I, I am a, an oil painter. I, uh, I studied in the College of Marketing and Design. Uh, when I was there, I studied under Patrick Graham, and um, I, my painting back then was intuitive, it was expressionistic, but uh, since I left college, I have continued my education and have filled in the gaps of knowledge that, um, that I uh, yeah, that I, I had. Uh, the type of work that I did back then um, didn't involve a huge amount of artistic technique, so since then I have um, developed uh, an interest in more figurative work and more academic work, and finding access to that information then pre-internet was very difficult. I have developed a lot of. Um, uh, I have uh, I found a lot of information from books and magazines, and uh, the information that I've learnt through my own personal research since college is what I plan to impart to you as students. Uh, since the event of uh, COVID and the lockdown, uh, uh, artists have worked um, in, in isolation, but there have been projects that have been set up, like uh, globally, where artists can work uh, doing portraits, for instance with the Sky Portraits uh, uh, competition. I actively painted along with other artists who were working painted portraits of sitters who were celebrities and uh, uh, that sense of community that artists developed then is something that I feel is worth continuing and this online class is part of this continuation of what I felt was necessary for artists. Because of COVID, I think that a lot of tutors and um, students have a lot of free time on their hands because nobody can go anywhere. Um, the, the importance of just being creative to stop yourself um, going crazy uh, in the lockdown, stop yourself getting cabin fever is, is really important. So uh, to develop your creative impulses these classes, I think, are quite necessary uh, or useful for people's mental health. Uh, for, for um, I think for everybody, there's a different like the paths to creativity are different. Uh, there isn't a linear path to your goal, um, your your aims. Uh, you can start off life wanting to do something and you do it but it doesn't lead you to the results that you thought you were going to get so you have to have creativity to be able to uh, change direction and use what you learned before but use it in a, an intelligent way that assists you in your own life. Uh, I think the difference between an intellectual and uh, uh, an intelligent person is the ability, intelligent people have the ability to apply what they learnt in their lives to assist in their own survival. So developing creativity is, is the same thing as developing your intelligence. I think the outcome is going to be different for everybody, for starters. Uh, not everybody is going to want to dedicate their life to becoming a painter, uh, but people can 
have the same, I think painting has the same benefits for people as meditation does because when you start painting you lose hours in it like because your brain is involved in something that's nothing to do with politic, the polit political situation with nothing to do with COVID or you know people getting ill it's simply solving problems directly on a canvas and that meditation on that like takes you away from the real world and into your inner world and that uh, that i think is is a, a useful thing for anybody to have it is like a form of meditation it's it's a you wake up or after doing a painting and you realize oh my god i've wasted you know three hours doing that like you know, i think the advantage and what i'm what i hope to uh, to give people is the ability to lose themselves within the painting without making, you know, complete uh, sort of, without wasting so much time to get like the end uh, the image, the finished image.